outcomes measure the success of endeavors, and whether missions and mandates are being achieved. When you're doing a project, right, and you go in a community that don't have water, when that project is completed and you see the people them have water, you see how they appreciate it, that really gives you a good feeling. And even some projects that you have completed and 20 years you go back there and you see the people them still have the system and the system still running. It gives you a good feeling. I am excited about this new water system that has been implemented in the Watermount community. I am super excited because of the benefits that we are reaping from this water system that has been implemented by the Rural Water Supply Limited. It was rough, you know, because before now we, we have to come right up here for the water. And now it is right next to us that we can just come out and just catch the water. But it, it is much better for us now. I think one of the simplest projects that I've ever done was probably one of the most fulfilling. It was a project at a place in St. Catherine called Ty Dixon. They didn't have water before. And we built a tank in the community which was placed on the, on, the ground, on the premises of the post office. When the water came out of the pipe, there was an old man there in his 90s and the man started crying. And when I investigated, the man was crying because, and it brings tears to my eyes right now. Right now I am emotional about it because it's the most, it's the most, it's the most pleasant and fruitful venture I've been in. The man cried because the man said all his life he heard that water can come out of a pipe and he never said that yet. The first him seen water come out of a pipe. Two things him say him never seen in life. So I said, what else he never see? When I asked him that, he said, the only thing him, the only other thing he never see is playing pong growing. He wants to play in the sky. It was the difference being made and what was being clamored for by residents of the Kingston metropolitan area some 40 years ago that led to Carib Engineering Corporation Limited being established in 1983 to implement the Yalas Pipeline project, taking water through the hills and valleys of St. Thomas to alleviate the inadequate water supply in the corporate area. The Prime Minister of the day, which was Edward Siaga, wanted the pipeline done immediately because Kingston was in water crisis, serious water crisis. The project, under the tenure of the then Minister of Public Utilities and Transport, the Honourable Pernell Charles Sr., was successfully executed with approximately 23 million gallons of water per day being gravity fed from Yalas to the Mona treatment plant daily, solving the water issues during that period. The water coming into the Mona Reservoir from the Yalas pipeline is taken from two sources. You have the Negro River and the Yalas intake. And those intakes are in St. Thomas and they are at a higher elevation than the Mona Reservoir. So the water flows naturally. It, it doesn't have to be pumped. Because the pipeline is a gravity pipeline, slopes and gradients, the slopes are absolutely critical. You have to keep them spot on or else you will lose gravity flow and then you wouldn't have any water coming to Kingston. It was a major accomplishment with particular stories to be shared. First, from someone there for the entire 40 years and from the managing director as well, there from 87, with Clark, employed in 84, still having fond memories. The project was completed before time and within budget. We were properly equipped and we were given the necessary tools in order to carry out the work in the best way we can. And the whole culture, the culture was a culture of delivery, right? Because if you didn't deliver, it would be plain to see that you have failed. So the culture was in terms of we had to deliver. When I go to St. Thomas and I see pipe bridge number two, and we have them pipe bridge number one, two, and three, when I see pipe bridge number two, it, it's special to me because I was a part of the layout and the alignment and the construction of pipe bridge number two. The tunnel is not so accessible now, but when I go there, I, it, it brings back memories. The company was subsequently mandated by the government of Jamaica to carry out water systems island-wide with major projects that included the Martha Bray water supply system yielding 5 million gallons per day from Martha Bray River to Montego Bay, the Great River water supply in Montego Bay providing 10 million gallons daily, the Eastern Westmoreland water supply system and the South Chapleton and the Gimmebit water supply systems in Clarendon. 
In 2006, the company's name changed from Carib Engineering Corporation Limited to Rural Water Supply Limited, with the main emphasis on providing water supply systems in rural areas. The rationale is delivered with resolve by the Honorable Matthew Samuda, the present Minister without portfolio in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, with responsibility for water, the environment and climate change. Rural Water has been tasked with building and maintaining small systems right across the length and breadth of Jamaica. It's why the Prime Minister has gone further to task them with the distribution of 50,000 black tanks and supporting rainwater harvesting infrastructure to make sure all Jamaicans build their own water resilience at the household level. Rural Water has a huge role to play and I look forward to working with them. The renaming of the company as the Rural Water Supply Limited took effect on March 9, 2006, with several major projects thereafter implemented across the island, including the Peart Spring and Tiki Tiki systems in Manchester, Cascade in Eastern Hanover, Aberdeen, St. Elizabeth, Cornwall Barracks, Portland, Georgia in St. Thomas, and Clydesdale Water Supply in St. Andrew. Major works were also initiated in relation to repairs and refurbishment to catchment tanks, with some 90 such tanks done all over Jamaica. One of the main programs carried out by Rural Water Supply Limited is the rainwater harvesting in rural schools, with over 100 schools benefiting. Rainwater harvesting is something that the government is now promoting, that in terms of even some of their building plans, I think they are looking to see that in some certain areas, they will insist that rainwater harvesting be a, a feature of the house construction in terms of people building storage tank and harvesting rainwater so they could use that as, for their gardening and other uses to supplement the, the NWC seawater. Rural Water Supply Limited proudly collaborates with other public sector entities with two significant achievements being the National Housing Trust Longville Park Phase 2 Housing and Infrastructural Works, which was nominated by the Jamaica Institutions of Engineers in 2013 as the Engineering Project of the Year, and the development of the Artificial Groundwater Recharge System St. Catherine, also nominated in 2016 as one of the Jamaica Institutions of Engineers Award for Excellence in Engineering Project of the Year. What we are doing is actually taking river water from the Rio Cobre in, 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 in times of high flow and basically storing it underground, treating it and storing it underground. So, it, so it's an expanse of an underground reservoir that supports the limestone wells out in St. Catherine. On an average, approximately 5 million gallons a day is basically taken off the, off the Rio Cobre, treated and basically injected in these limestone aquifer. These achievements prompt all that will come to mind about the working environment. Man there from the very start, acting chief accountant Rowan Mattis, looking back at his early days, has this word of encouragement for the new recruits. You should expect um, a company that you're comfortable to work in. There's team effort. Um, any issues you have, you can always get advice from anybody, you know, so just feel comfortable, don't be afraid, ask questions what you're not sure of, and you'll be fine. New recruit Ruth Ann McClymont agrees. It's been very interesting. I mean, I came in without so much technical experience and they have really been guiding me every step of the way. I remember my first assignment, it was a big one, and I could just go over anyone's desk and ask, how do you do this? Um, where can I find this? And they were really willing to assist me every step of the way. I, they helped me from start to finish. Mission, mandate, they continue to be accomplished. This community, um, the males, they are the ones who go out and work. And so the females who are really housewives, they would have to be making many trips back and forth to the catchment whenever there is water. They would have to be making many trips back and forth. Now with this um, adequate water supply in the community, it means now that they do not have to waste time to go to fetch water to come back. And the time that they used to do this could be used to do something more productive. As a matter of fact, I'm looking on it now to see that many of our women 
are now engaged in the um, programs that are being offered by our trust NTA. And this is because they have more time on hand. They don't have to be carrying water. It has significantly made life better in terms of um, we ha now have more water because in, a concrete tank was built and um, a few of the black um, rhino tanks were installed. So now we have more water. So whenever we have a water cut off or if the pump is not working in the area to supply, we can now have school for longer periods without having to let our children stay home. The man who speaks with resolve, the Honourable Minister, to set your thoughts flowing. There is going to be no social or economic stability in Jamaica without building water resilience. Ultimately, we haven't always taken care of our environment in the way that we should. And though we are making every effort to ensure that it's changed, we have a lot of work to do. Water is the basis of human society. Rural water is playing its role in ensuring the protection of that resource, in ensuring the connection of that resource to all Jamaicans. Um, my passion is, is well known for the environment. But I also say to, to those who may be listening that the passion of the men and women who work for rural water should also be well known because they do excellent work.